Hello and welcome. Thanks for taking a couple minutes to go over this material with us. Uh, I am James Damschoter. I will be your tour guide. I am the chief of financial engineering at a software company called Gravity Investments and the chief investment officer at an investment management firm called Gravity Capital Partners. All right, let's get started. This slide is a, a high-level overview of a, a very extensive research project uh, that we executed in collaboration with Standard & Poor's uh, based on optimizing the Standard & Poor's 500. Uh, we do have a you know sort of a peer review grade, um, you know, thirty some page um, you know paper about how this uh, um, how this product came together. It, it's our, our, our most complete uh, and, and rigorous analysis and proof source as to um, you know the performance efficacy of diversification optimization and we can make that available uh, when you know you look at so this you know from a kind of you know high level perspective you see it you know certainly does track pretty well you know the um, the research piece is based on you know optimizing the uh, the s p 500. That did mean investing in all 500 of the uh, the stocks, just reweighting them, uh, creating a diversification weighted, uh, you know, version of that uh, that product, which we could do for you know just about um, you know any kind of uh, index, um, just utilizing the uh, diversification weighting instead of you know cap weighting or instead of equally weighting or, or whatever uh, weighting approach. We think we could you know pick up some incremental alpha in doing that. Uh, you can see though it's um, you know dragged a little bit through uh, you know first several years in its existence you know pretty pretty strong bull market diversification slightly underperformed market cap in that period but ever since uh, you know 2000 and 2001 it's been been edging ahead pretty consistently and uh, see for the decade ending um, you know 2010 it's basically the lost decade uh, we were uh, an incremental 799 basis points uh, of, of uh, annual performance in excess of benchmark. And that's you know in, investing in the exact same stocks, just in the you know different numbers. Um, so what we learned from this research is really the the, the consistency of the approach, and the diversification was working um, n not just to protect against losses. We trimmed losses here, but we frankly really geared the research to, uh, to outperform. Um, but the outperformance, um, you know, came really during you know sideways markets, um, it's, which is you know what we saw for a, a good chunk of this period. Um, and you know we've got you know less risk by you know any statistic. Uh, full sample, all 15 years, we were. Um, I believe 499 incremental basis points over the index. Uh, really, just a you know pretty vastly different product uh, or diff you know superior product. Um, we can make this you know exact product available in a in a managed account. Um, we you know manage this by optimizing you know within each sector, and then we took a uh, uh, rolled up each sector. And you know, optimize the sectors, and we did see you know consistent alpha pickup basically every time we get to run the optimization. Uh, so you know, for for larger portfolios like in this case 500, um, it's you know exactly the right strategy to do with our technology. Just a, a collaborating re research piece. Um, the, the first one was based on you know optimizing an all equity portfolio. Uh, we want to you know see 
um, if if we would also have similar success uh, across asset classes. Uh, we, we figured we would probably do um, you know the same if not better across asset classes because there'd be more potential for diversification. And, and really, we, we, we did about the same. Um, you know, I, I don't know the exact numbers, but it was you know seven to eight hundred you know incremental over you know benchmark annually for the uh, for the sample period, and all these research is, is based on you know a, a walk forward out of sample analysis, and uh, you know been rigorously scrubbed for any kind of uh, you know biases and within the within the research project. Um, you know, you're welcome to any kind of you know documentation or papers on these. So, you know, we, we, we do see the, the incremental performance over, uh, you know, stocks, bonds, stock, bond, blend, 50-50. Um, this project is investing in, uh, it was just the cheapest, uh, cheapest fund from each of the Lipper Global Investment Classification uh, categories that had a 10-year life. And um, ran all those through the process. Uh, reconstituted and re-optimized on a semi-annual basis. Uh, didn't rebalance, so there might be a little more, more to pick up, but uh, I think we did succeed in you know, proving that the, uh, the process um, you know, works there across asset classes, especially since we didn't have any real you know, performance selection uh, criteria in our selection process when we picked those investments because we just picked them based on Okay, they, they they lived for ten years, and they were the cheapest. So it's not like we uh, you know <laughs> worked hard at, at, at trying to you know cheat to find you know great investments or or, or what have you. We're just um, we just like Lipper's global classification scheme that has you know a pretty gr granular approach. So we know uh, that that following that uh, classification scheme would you know offer the potential for pretty strong diversification. Here we're, we're looking at the um, different touch points of a diversification optimization process um, and comparing that to other touch points and other processes. So we're using like a passive index investing as, as you know, sort of the null hypothesis. It's not really adding, it's not really subtracting, that's it's just sort of the null hypothesis. Do-it-yourself investing. Um, tends to be even worse than just the buy and hold um, investing. You, know, you can look at, um, you know, I think Dalbar is the most uh, you know, famous of, of, of the studies. It shows you know, due to the uh, you know, behavioral effects of individual investors that are not you know, well you know, trained and experienced in these things, uh, they tend to uh, you know, buy high and sell low. And even though you know maybe the index is making some returns, they might be losing money. Um, you know, definitely strong reasons to um, employ a financial advisor, um, and uh, you know have them you know, keep you from doing stupid things. So traditional optimiz optimization is, is uh, you know a step ahead of, of passive index investing. Um, you can see for yourself and sort of study this slide what the you know, individual you know benefits are, but you know diversification optimization is able to integrate you know a, a lot more um, you know quant oriented sustainable edges, and that's what we think of this. We think of each one of these little uh, little things as being an edge, and we, we've done our best to, to quantify the expected return. Um, uh, advantages of those edges they're, they're they're frankly very challenging to quantify um, you know some we can we could pull hard numbers on and others are are more estimated but we, we, we left off you know putting an actual range on this um, because I didn't want everyone thinking that you know just because you use diversification optimization you get you know so what X percent but I think the proportionality here is is is, is, is right and, and reasonable um, and you know this is the reason why is this this list of things that have, have been done you know, to uh, to create systematic sustainable performance edges you, 
you can see that when compared to alternative weighting approaches, diversification weighting is uh, far and away the best approach. This uh, research was based on um, a, a number of different weighting schemes, all applied to the you know the same stocks over the same period, and you can see on an annualized return basis, um, you know diversification weighting those stocks did 3.3 percent better than uh, you know the next closest thing, and uh, also of interesting. Uh, you know, noted did it with lower standard deviation and lower uh, semi deviation, showing that really you don't need to take more risk to get more returns. You need to manage your risk better, and you manage your risk better by having more diversification. Um, you know, also of, of interesting note, you know, market cap weighting is, is absolutely the uh, least effective weighting scheme, um, and um, you know. Definitely think that that holds true over you know m most any you know full market cycle or period, including um, you know any kind of bear markets. Um, you know we are able to take basically any index um, and create a diversification weighted version of that index, uh, and that's something that we could do on a managed account basis. Uh, you know for account size, you know approximately ten million dollars and larger. So we, we do see from 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 these as well as you know numerous other you know projects and client engagements and custom models and, and you know managed accounts that the the process works well on, on really any any asset type um, whether we're talking about you know funds of hedge funds uh, equity funds bond funds um, you know commodities currencies um, you know e even options or derivatives. Um, we've we've really um, learned how to put basically any kind of instrument in here, including the ability to mix and match, uh, which you know is generally a fallibility in most other optimization processes. So any assets we can combine that with any kind of asset belief. You know, a belief being, uh, hey, we like you know fundamental investing. We like uh, active investing. Um, you know, generally the, the, the beliefs that, uh, you know, that gravity tends to run with, um, you know, in our, in our house models, um, you know, we're, we're, we're a little bit more tactical because we want to pick up some, some, you know, rebalancing alpha. Um, we, we also believe in, in good old fashioned value investing and fundam, fundamental investing. Um, and, and those two sources also um, are, are complements to diversification. There's more diversification lurking in the value space than in the growth space, and there's more you know, diversification uh, lurking in uh, you know small cap than large cap, and, and those have also been you know trends that have uh, you know over long periods of time, like the kind of the DFA research, uh, you know tends to add a little bit of performance. But you know w whatever it is, we we probably can work with it. Um, Maybe the only thing that we don't really work with is, is day trading, um, and that's just because, you know, frankly, we've never really tested the uh, the efficacy of diversification optimization on such uh, uh, small time periods. We tend to work with with daily data. Not that it's impossible, but um, I haven't haven't tackled that project. Uh, objectives. Um, so, you know, we think of objectives, uh, you know, as being you know, um, you know, total return. You know, risk adjusted return, income, uh, they could also be a little more esoteric, uh, you know, whether we're talking about o omega functions or alphas or betas, um, you know, wh whatever it is, we, we haven't found an objective that uh, um, is incompatible with diversification optimization. And then, you know, operationally, we, we really strive to uh, be as least intrusive as, as possible. So. We want to be easy to buy, easy to work with. Uh, we do, you know, work on a you know uh, multi-custodian basis. We are completely brokerage and custodian agnostic. Uh, work on whatever platform you know as fiduciaries makes the most sense, uh, and, and it's easy for 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 you to buy without having to to repay for accounts. Um, this can also sometimes include you know operating with on your within your own existing infrastructure as a signal provider, although we do 
uh, prefer to take on those trading responsibilities, help get you that operational you know, leverage and get out of that trading racket. Um, so, you know, anywhere from sort of that signal provider to, you know, full, full um, turnkey uh, investment management services. And, uh, you know, for, for hybrid advisors and, and other uh, RIAs that have not outsourced before or, but are sort of curious, but you also have your own processes that, uh, you, know, that you like and, and you've, you've got um, maybe some, um, you know, marketing um I'll call it inertia on, you know, it's, it's been, you know, part of your, uh, you know, value statement. Uh, you know, the flexibility of our system really allows us to uh, um, collaborate perhaps more than, um, than you can find in, you know, any of our competitors. Um, so if you're just thinking about, you know, partnering with an investment manager for the first time, um, but not quite outsourcing, you don't want to, you know, entirely, you know, jettison the responsibilities, but but you recognize the need for some help and some extra leverage there. Um, we're we're probably the guys to talk to. So when we look at the um, you know the applications for true diversification and um, GSphere GSphere.net, um, you know it's not just risk management, but it's also marketing, uh, proposal generation. Uh, but it's also, um, you know, fiduciary support, compliance support. What we found in the ERISA space, uh, new ERISA regulations suggest that um, you know, recommendations made to plan participants uh, need to be software-based, uh, and they also need to be based on diversification. Um, we feel we could you know, deliver on that you know, legal edict better than anyone out there. Um, you know, we'll we'll look at you know any kind of integrations. Um, you know, we uh, do run you know the the software on the Amazon Elastic Cloud, so we can add a lot of users pretty fast. We are willing to custom brand that for um, you know the right commitments from firms or commitments from from brokers. Gravity Investments has built a top-notch team over the years. Like many companies, we're really only as good as our people. This is a core part of the team. We we also have, you know, another, um, you know, half a dozen or so folks that are involved. Um, couldn't make it all into to one slide, but some of those folks are on a you know part-time basis. Others full-time. Uh, you know, total headcount in the firm is uh, about 10 right now. Um, and these are typically more of the folks that um, um, that you're likely to, to interact with as we, you know, build out our investment management capabilities and our software capabilities. A little more detail into... Uh, you know, the, the principal two um, companies, Gravity Investments and Gravity Capital Partners. You know, Gravity Capital Partners really um, you know, is, is known by a couple of other you know, newer industry monikers, such as either a, a sub-advisor or perhaps more prevalent, a third-party strategist, um, you know, an investment manager, an asset manager, um, and um, really also uh, what's called a TAMP, TAMP being an acronym for um, Turnkey Asset Manager Program. And, um, you know, Gravity Investments really exists exists now more, you know, behind the scenes uh, as the technology company powering Gravity Capital Partners, really the, the, the front end. You know, over the years, Gravity Investments has worked with you know, quite a number of financial institutions, um, including you know all the types that you see on this list here. Perhaps about uh, you know half of which would be uh, registered investment advisors, 
and then you know quite a, a, a smattering of, of other institutions. Um, you know any any type of money managers, consultants, um, money managers, whether they be you know equities or you know hedge funds or funds of funds, you know, family offices or you know consultants. Collectively, you know the 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 G sphere um, um, you know managed group managed or advised you know across about twenty billion dollars. Um, you know, the client base tends to be you know of a more sophisticated type, ones that uh, you know certainly appreciate the um, importance of diversification and how diversification is you know the principal takeaway of modern portfolio theory. You know, if if you haven't seen it yet, our, our technologies at gsphere.net are, are, are really um, <laughs> really outstanding. The, um, you know, the 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 system is available only to you know our our advisor partners. Um, you know, wor working with us, um, you know, as a as a sub advisor or third party strategist. Um, but you know, it's it's the only system out there that allows. Um, you know, an advisor to you know enter in an investor's portfolio, um, you create a clarion understanding of that investor's diversification, um, and, and then be able to um, you know create a proposal, um, you know, typically in, involving sort of a before and after scenario, which is what uh, you know, this page is looking at. The whole process is is, is really simple. Um, you know, this is our, our, our third generation technology and we've, we've really figured it out. It's, it's, it's beautiful. It's fast, you know, it's powerful and you can create, you know, links to, uh, um, you know, share the information with your investors, um, you know, both in a private web page or, or you could actually put it, um, you know, right into a, uh, you know, a, a 3d dynamic interactive PDF and, uh, you know, get that out in uh in an email to the investor as a proposal um so if you haven't seen the system yet um in, inquire with your representative at gravity capital partners to uh to take a look at it thanks for taking some time to learn about true diversification we see true diversification as really being the uh, um, umbrella term, name of the uh, the program, really encompassing um, different intellectual property and technology touch points like diversification optimization, diversification visualization, measurement, search, as well as our proprietary, you know, analytics and prediction technologies. Thank you again, and uh, feel free to visit our, our site more for uh, additional presentations.